Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Mythical Mail Monday. So the first things I wanted to show you are the things that I purchased as a pre-order for BookCon. So first I got the little shields for each of the teams. So we have Nomad, Spellbinder, Soulseeker, which I believe is what I am if I remember correctly, Sage, and Explorer. Then I got this really cute New York City popping out of a book, BookCon 2020. Then I got two different uh, prepackaged pin sets. So we've got BookCon, a celebration of storytelling, and then also stories are forever, and then like gems coming out of a book. I thought all of these pins were really cool. I also got this support your local library sticker. And last but not least, I got this scrunchie. So it's a scrunchie up here and then like the ties fall down. And I'm planning to wear this in my next video, so stay tuned. <laughs> next, I got this beautiful Akatar spring, summer, winter, fall, night, day, and dawn court spinner. And it's so beautiful. And it's also a keychain, but it, I'm using it as a pin. And it's from Fabled Merch. And I believe they still have it in their shop. It's for like $25. And it's incredible. So much bigger than I ever anticipated. Almost the size of my palm. But it's beautiful. Next, I got some add-ons for the Lit Joy Magical Edition Year 7.2 crate. First, I got this Potter Watch um, the radio and what's really cool about this I haven't pulled it out and I'm about to head to work or else I'd show you but on this spinner um, you can spin it and each of the passwords will spin by in the little slot there which I thought was really cool then I also got this Hogwarts is my home or something along those lines light box so here's Harry and then the mayor of the era said and in the mirror you can see the Hogwarts landscape and it's just so beautiful next from Moonlight Crate I received a set of Caraval dust jackets so we have Caraval with Scarlet and Julian we have and I'm not sure which one's which here but um, they both have Tella so I think this one is legendary if I remember correctly with Tella and Jax and then I believe this one is Finale with Tella and Legend, but I could be wrong. This one might be Legendary, and then the one with Jax might be Finale. I forget when the scene with Jax happens, like which book it's in. Speaking of dust jackets, I also got Strange the Dreamer dust jackets from Fox and Wit. So first we have Strange the Dreamer, of course, with Laszlo. We also have Muse of Nightmares with Sarai. Last but not least, I have my owl crate here. I believe that the theme for this July month was Date with Destiny, so I'm super excited to open this. And I believe the Karakosic mug is in this month. So here is the spoiler card, and yes, it is Date with Destiny, and it's just a really cool looking girl holding a robe or some sort of fabric over her, and it looks like on the underside of the fabric is the night sky, so that looks really cool. Alright, so the very first thing I see is the Karakosic mug. I'm going to set this aside for now and get to that later. The next thing I'm seeing is an Arrow paperclip set. And it says, Hope is the only thing stronger than fear on the top here. Let's see if I can show you. And then the uh, paperclips are just little arrows. So pretty useful. Not my favorite item I've ever received, but at least it's useful. And I do like the tin. Obviously, this is inspired by the Hunger Games because that is a Hunger Games quote. And I believe it's just an Alcrate exclusive. I lied. This was designed by Paperback Bones. Next is a beautiful pouch with something inside. And it is... Oh, it's an apron. Okay, so here's the apron. It's kind of got a vinyl feel to it. Um, not sure how I feel about that, but at least it would be somewhat liquid proof. And it does have a pocket, which I think is cool. It says, Pancakes and Predications, 300 Foxway Diner, Henrietta, West Virginia. Fate is a very weighty word to throw around before breakfast. Um, and then here's the design so you guys can see. 
I don't know if I'll keep this just because I don't know what the theme of it is at all. So it's obviously not something I've read and or care about too deeply. Um, nor do I really use aprons. But there's a little tag in here. Fox Way Diner Apron. I'll create exclusive design with love by Paperback Bones. Um, I'm gonna look at the spoiler card to see which fandom this is for. It's inspired by the Raven Cycle, which I was correct, I have not read that book yet. Next is, oh, a little tea. Um, it's a Simon Sour Cherry Scones Loose Leaf Tea, designed by Riddle's Tea Shop, and this is, of course, inspired by Carry On slash Wayward Sun and Simon Snow. Um, I don't really drink tea, but I'm sure lots of people really love this and it's a great item. Next I have the pin. It says decide your fate, which makes me think of um, Brave Merida. Um, if you had the chance to change your fate, would you? <laughs> me and my really bad accents. <laughs> this was designed by Jubilee Oomph. Next is a woodmark, ooh, and it's Ray walking into the sun rise set. Um, and then Kylo Ren on the backside. I'm in love with this. I'm not a huge, huge Star Wars fan, and if I had to choose, I would definitely choose the main movies over the sequels, but this is a beautiful, beautiful woodmark. I believe the last thing in here is the book other than the mug. So I'm going to look at the spoiler card real quick just to make sure I'm not missing anything. So that is everything. So let's open the mug first and then we'll get to the book. A Half-Blood Prince themed mug. I know this month, which is one of my favorites, if not my favorite of the books. It's a toss up between that and Goblet of Fire. So I'm super excited to see this one. Okay, so we've got Hogwarts. Going into Harry in the potions classroom with the little half-blood book. I should bring this closer. Um, then we've got the stairs leading into Dumbledore and the pensive. Um, and then Hogwarts again, Deathmark, and Fox. That is beautiful. Oh, it's supposed to be like the Phoenix song when Fox is singing after someone. Yeah. I, I'm sure everyone knows, but I don't want to um, spoil in case anyone doesn't know, but someone dies. <laughs> uh, but yes, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mug. And again, inspired by Half-Blood Prince and designed by Karat Kozik. All right, so the book is Goddess in the Machine. And this is beautiful. It's got golden sprayed edges. The gold kind of clashes a little bit with the orange to me but ooh, and it's purple hardback with an embossed and the gold actually looks a lot better with the purple I think this one I would read the synopsis if I had time but I literally have to leave for work like right now I would have filmed this after work but I'm in tech performances and tech week right now so I'm not gonna go into this but I do know it's a sci-fi and it's about deciding your fate and I believe it starts with the main character waking up drowning, so that sounds interesting. And it is signed, of course, by the author, Laura Beth Johnson. Beautiful. Then, of course, we have our little Alcrate magazine. It's in there, so I'm not going to go through that. We've got the author note. Next month's theme is written in the stars and every august box will include a book sleeve designed by the quirky cup collective so that was all for today's mythical mail monday i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll check in with you in my next one bye friends mm -hmm.